there is no space. No, I'm stopping that. And it cancelled it. Boom. That is actually brilliant. We would have definitely gone into that and it would have definitely caused some damage. Welcome back everybody to Tesla Driver. I hope you're all doing really, really well. Today we're actually in this car park. Now this car park is known for learner drivers coming down, learning to drive uh, before they take their test. And what I thought I would do is it would work quite well is if I brought the Tesla down here to try every kind of auto park I can think of basically. Now there's three types of parking. There's perpendicular, which is obviously uh, against a 90 degree wall or the parking space is 90 degree against the wall. Uh, you've got parallel, which is obviously you'd park parallel to the wall or 180 degrees, I guess. And then you've got angled, which can be at any angle, but normally will be at 45 degrees. So imagine, you know, if the wall's there, 45 degrees like that, and all the cars park sideways for space saving. Now, we hardly have any angled ones here in the UK, but we have loads of parallel and perpendicular ones. So without further ado, let's go find ourselves some different areas to park and just see if the car can do it. Now, in the last video, I got loads of comments. So thank you all so much for commenting. Some were good, some were obviously bad, but that's YouTube. And I just want to first of all say that don't forget, we drive different in every different country. Yes, I am on the other side of the road to a lot of you. Uh, and also, no, it's not always as fast as you think. Using GoPros with the camera uh, as, as the main source of camera can actually make things look a lot faster than they are uh, because of the wide angle and such. So sometimes it looks fast and it looks really tight, but actually it's not. So just please do bear that all in mind. Uh, and yeah, anyway, but thank you guys so much for watching. Like seriously, it's, it's been awesome. So you can see we're actually popping up a couple of parking spaces here. As you can see, uh, I'm actually gonna let it pick one at random. So I'm just gonna keep going and I'm gonna stop here. Okay, so it's found a space apparently, uh, which is all the way back there. So we're gonna give that one a go. It doesn't look like there's any other cars around. My hands are all times are gonna stay here, okay? Just so that you can see them and obviously they're out the way. And I'm keeping a checkup for anybody around that may get in the way. Now, if you, oh, actually we've got a car behind us uh, that is just pulling out. So that's interesting. Well, he's gonna have to wait while my car tries to park. And I've got to say, it's actually doing it a lot quicker to start off with uh, than the last one. Now we actually had an issue last time if you remember where it kind of aborted last second. Now a lot of people have commented saying this was due to a white solid line. I completely disagree and I'm going to show you that today and we're going to do a couple of little tests uh, just to see if lines really make a difference. Does it use uh, lines actually at all? I've just waved to the driver that's waiting uh, because the car again is slow but this is my job so this is what we've got to do. Um, we're at an angle, as you can see, but it seems pretty happy. And you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that park. It's not perfect. It's not how I would have parked. We're at a slight angle, but it's not too bad. Now, yeah, like I was saying, so you can see obviously there's white lines in front of all the parking spaces and between all the parking spaces. Now, I don't think the Tesla actually sees the lines at all. I don't think the Tesla uses the lines as a guide or as a reference or anything. And what I've actually brought with me today is some rope to show you pretty much exactly that. Uh, the fact that it, it doesn't use it and that I think we, we shouldn't need anything like that to actually park. Okay, so we're just gonna go around the car park now and see if you can find another space. So we've got some parallel spaces here on the left, actually, we'll, which would be brilliant. So I wanna park next to this BMW. Is it going to pick it up? I am i don't think it will, but I'll, I'll be pleasantly surprised if it does. No, okay, it hasn't picked that one up. I'm going at five because that's nice and slow and hopefully it will pick up another parking space. There's another parallel space back there. Aha, aha, it's picked it up. Okay, so. Does it look different? It does. This is actually the first time I think I've parallel parked in this car. Okay, we're gonna keep our eyes out again and we're always ready in case someone gets in the way. And what I would also like to do is do some videos where I bring other people in and we try and make, I see, look, boom. I'm gonna stop right there. So there's a huge tree that I've only just noticed fallen down in this space, but the car was about to happily go through it. I'm actually gonna get out, run round and see what that tree looks like. Let's have a quick look. We would have definitely gone into that and it would definitely cause some damage. We've actually got the car behind showing up as well here and her car ahead is showing up. She's decided to park next to the one person with their door open and I'm not sure why, oh my God. 
Oh God, I'm getting away from that car. Ugh, dangerous, dangerous, scary, scary. Okay, right, let's go try that again, shall we? So I'm going to go all the way back around because I'm pretty sure there's only one parallel space in this car park. Oops, my phone, I'm sorry. Uh, I've only got like 15 minutes to film this as well because my camera is going to die otherwise. And I'm going to go try that again now with, uh, with this new setup like this uh, and to see if this will work. So yet again, let's go to that parallel parking space. And we're just going to drive past it. I really want to park next to this BMW, but it's not going to pick it up. Oh, oh my God, it did, it did, it did, it did, it did. Okay, there's no cars around us, perfect. We're going to try and park next to this BMW now. Now this is the space I would have picked. And obviously there's no tree in that one over there now, so I think we're going to go park in that one afterwards. Okay, that's a lovely BMW as well. Absolutely lovely. And are we going to park fine? Okay. That's good. This is quite a tight space. So it's, oh, it's going to like poke us in. Forwards. Yeah. And backwards. Probably not how I would have got into it, to be honest, but it's doing it. No problem. And I'll tell you what, that was, even though that was a real tough space, it kind of did that quicker than it did the space in the other video. If you haven't seen the other video, make sure to go check it out. We've got a car turn up on our side as well, which didn't make any difference, and it's parked really, really nicely. Now, you can't actually get out using auto park. Um, there is no way of getting out. That car on my side like looked like it was going to come into me. There's no way of using auto park to try and get back out of a space. So if you get yourself in a really tight space, you've got to get yourself out of it as well. Um, so you can't rely on autopilot to do everything for you. Okay, but that did that really well. So let's just try, now that there is no tree in this space here, because I've moved, uh, I've moved the tree, we're going to give this space a go as well. So let's just go forward it. There it is. I'm going to stop here and let's try that space again. So I've taken my foot off the brake, hands are up ready. Let's see it get into this little spot, shall we? The way it does it, it does come quite tight, but I'm assuming that's because that's where I kind of drove it to. And it's done it really nicely. So yeah, it would have gone into that tree, I think, because it wasn't stopping, I had to slam on. But it seems to do parallels very easily. It likes to do a very, very tight turn in like that uh, at the end, which just gets the nose in nicely, and then it angles itself back up. Like so. Boom. That is actually brilliant. Okay, well that worked really, really well. And I'm pretty happy with that parallel parking uh, system. So the parallel parking system is perfect, I would say, in those two sent in those two like little setups there, except obviously that tree that we had before. Um, but again, that's that's a factor that we're gonna have to have to use and, and see if it actually is. Now we've got two buses here. I don't know if there's a space in between them, but if there is, I kind of want to park in the middle of them and just see if it would actually actually do it or see if it does anything at all. Uh, okay, we have got a learner over there doing their learning, so I don't want to go bother them, but I will go down here and try a space and I'm going to try changing things. So I'm going to go straight down the middle. It can pick left or right. I don't mind where it picks. And uh, we're going to go into a space and then we're going to change things up. Okay, interesting. Oh, wow. It didn't find a single space. Okay, that is very, very odd indeed. I don't know why it didn't find a single space. I'm going to reverse closer to these spaces. There's no one in these cars. I have checked. Do not worry. I'm just going to try that again, but I'm going to try and drive a little bit a, a little bit closer to these cars. So I want to park between that BMW and that Corolla, I think it is. I'm not sure what it is, actually. Look at that, no parking spaces. We're getting other cars up here, but it's actually uh, it's actually not finding any spaces. Okay, well, let's um, go and ch change that up, shall we? So I need to turn around. It's pretty goddamn... Oh, 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 hold up, hold up. What? Uh, yes. Okay. Um, 
This is odd. I didn't think it was gonna auto part. So it's found a space while I was like in out, in out, in out. I was gonna go up, I was gonna reverse into that spot and then carry on straight. And you can see the other the other learner over there. Um, my car is a learner. <laughs> and we're just gonna see if it does this. This is odd because again, it, it really wasn't quite set for this parking space that it's decided to park us in. Okay, I'm still, my feet aren't anywhere near the accelerator. I'm right next to the brake. So you're gonna try it again. Okay, it's really not liking this, is it? It's really not liking it. In fact, what I'm gonna do, uh, I don't, I'm not gonna abort it because I wanna see if it actually does it. It's not, is it? It's gonna do that again. So it's done the same thing and it canceled it. So that has canceled it itself. I haven't touched anything. That is what happened last time. So what I think there is, I'm just gonna go over here. What I think there is, is I think there may be a timer. Okay, I think there might might be some sort of timer that, that works uh, works out when it's like really cocking up and it's like, yeah, I can't do this anymore. So I'm just gonna bug out and it decides to cancel everything for you. Okay, well that's not too bad. What I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna really quickly run and uh, put something down that hopefully will change this. Oh, was that a space back there? I'm not sure, but I'm, I'm just gonna park anyway. So I'm gonna park into a, like not even a nice park because I'm not actually staying here. I'm just gonna park here. I'm just gonna pop out and do something really quickly. Okay, so what I've done is I've actually just added some uh, controlled variables, let's say, to our parking setup. So if I just turn all the way around here and go back to that space, my phone falling over. Now this is hopefully gonna prove that lines mean nothing when it comes to autopilot. So before we had the issue where everyone's saying was because of the solid lines, that was gonna be our biggest issue. Whereas I honestly don't think that is the issue. Okay, so we found the parking space and I'm gonna go straight into it. Now what I've put down is actually some, uh, I think it's like 12 millimeter thick white rope, which is clearer than any of the lines you're gonna see. Just keeping an eye out, of course. It's clearer than any of the lines you're seeing on the floor there. And this is just to show that no matter what crazy lines are on the floor when you're auto parking, it makes zero difference because the car isn't judging anything on lines, which is kind of strange because when you're auto piloting and driving normally, it uses the lines over everything else. So you can see, look at those wacky lines that we're reversing into. And it's gone over one, I felt it. It is going slower. And there we go. Just like so, it's gonna stop. Boom. Point proven, the lines don't make a difference. And like we said from last time that it wasn't the lines that made it cock up. It was definitely, uh, definitely the fact that it took too long. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna quickly drive and try and find the most angled parking bay I can for our final test. So uh, we're autopiloting by the way, nice uh, down this highway at 60 without a problem. And I'm actually turning left here into this golf club. So I'm gonna pull it off way before and I can tell you from here, I can see angled cars. Look at this. Every single space is an angled car parking space. And there's some really cool cars here uh, at this golf club, which is nice to see. So will it pick up any of these spaces? So far it hasn't. And it's, it's literally, it's not seeing any, look, there's spaces left and right that you guys can obviously see. And it hasn't been able to pick up any of those spaces. Wow, not one. That even uh, that even has surprised me. So let's go back up this way and just see again if there is uh, any spaces that it wants to pick up. Actually, I don't know if I should go. No, we're going to keep on going forward here, and I'm going to take a right again, and we're going to we're going to just do that one more time because it didn't pick up any of them. We're picking up spaces on the left, even though there aren't spaces on the left. A little bit intrigued about that. Okay, here we go. Come on, pick up one of these angled spaces. This is the final thing we need to do, Tesla. Do you want me to get closer? I'm gonna go closer to this left side and just see if that changes anything. So I'm just getting a little bit closer to the left. 
even though it's not comfortable on the left. It's not picking up those. Now, this is interesting because how should it park in an angled bay? Because an angled bay, as you can see with all these cars, look, none of those, it didn't pick any of those. All of these cars, I'm just gonna reverse a little bit to see if it brings anything back up, because sometimes it does. No, it hasn't brought anything back up. You can see that an angled bay, you have to drive into it, pretty much. And this doesn't do that. It doesn't auto part like that. It simply doesn't just drive straight into a spot. It has to reverse into it. You have to have gone past it. So this is gonna be the final attempt to try and get the car to park in an angled bay. We've had absolutely no luck so far. And what I've had to do is actually go the wrong way down this uh, little car park here because I obviously think it wants to back into these spaces. So I'm gonna see if it finds, okay, we found a space um, and it's apparently just a normal space and I'm gonna give it a go and we're just gonna see what it thinks this space is. I'm just looking, there is no space. No, I'm stopping that. There is no space. There, there, all those cars, you can see there that they're all taken up. There is absolutely no spaces. No idea what that was about to try and park us into, but to be honest, I don't want to find out. So I want it to park like here on the right. There's a perfect space there on the right, but it just doesn't seem to, it genuinely doesn't seem to find any of the parking spaces. So I'm gonna reverse into it myself and just show you how easy it is to actually park into said space, uh, just to let this car go. Um, I'm just gonna literally let it go and then we're just gonna continue onwards. Angle bays to the left that are completely free. Nope, no interest in those. Uh, another angled bay here on the left. No, no interest. Whereas if these were all parallel, it would have done it fine. Or, oh, 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 we have a space. We have a space, everybody. Let's see what it wants to do. That is not the space that I see. So it can see the space. Oh, this is gonna be so embarrassing. Tesla, don't do not do it, don't give it a go. No, it's gonna try it. And what it's gonna do is, by parking in this space like this, I'm gonna be the only car. I can't, there's cars coming. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna embarrass myself and my Tesla. No, I'm not doing it, I'm sorry, there's cars coming. I'm going back out so it looks like I've just driven out that space. Yeah, that, were, that was going to, um, was going to park perpendicular in an angled bay space. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this parking video. We're actually at my house right now, but as I drove up to my house, my car said it could park. And as this is my house, I'm intrigued. And I'm like, you know what? Let's see what it's going to do. So you can see my Hummer there. Yes, I know I have a Hummer and a Tesla odd. Oh my God. It's, it's close to like the edge of the wall. Is it going to touch it? No, it didn't touch it. But I don't know if it's seen the Hummer? What is it trying to do? There isn't actually a parking space here, obviously. And it's just like trying to... <laughs> no, I'm not going to let it do it because I, I don't want any of my neighbors watching. I don't want them to see this. Oh my God, they're going to be like, he is off his head. 